welcome you all to my youtube channel so let's consider this geometric puzzle what is the value of x how can we solve it so let us go through the solution so first of all i can draw a line from this side this end to this end and this will be what 90 degrees because this is the what the diameter right and this is the what the center of the semicircle right so if this side is x what will be the value of this side this this is the radius that is what r and this is the radio that is r so we have two r right and so if this side is x this side will be also 2x now this angle is what 90 degrees and we know that this line is also what parallel to this line so if this angle is what beta using alternate angles this angle to be what beta so this side is already what 90 degrees so let's say this side is what theta what does it mean it means that this angle to be what theta now we have what two similar we have three similar triangles so how can we solve the value of x now we can represent this side by what y and using similar triangle we are considering this small triangle and also we are considering the bigger what triangle now we know that we have y divided by what 2x why did we get y divided by 2x so using similar triangle this is beta this is the angle and it faces this this length that is what y so we have y and let us look at also beta here it faces the length this length right that is what 2x that is why we got y divided by what 2x now let us consider what theta theta the line that it faces what this angle faces this line was six let's consider the bigger triangle two this is theta the line it faces what four plus six that is ten so we have a six over six divided by ten so we can find y to be what six x divided by five when you cross multiply we can divide two will go into itself one and goes what ten five times so we have six x divided by what five now this is what two x it means that this side will also what two x is a trapezium so this line will be what also what two x now this is 90 degrees so how can we find x we already know y to be what six x divided by five using pythagoras theory we are going to get what this is the what we we, we are going to get what two uh two s square uh, two s all square that is what four s square this is the hypotenuse and this is the two sides so we are going to get what y square but we already know that y is what 6x divided by 5 when we score when we square them we are going to go to, we are going to get 36x square divided by what 25 and this is what 4 so 4 square is what 16 now we multiply through by what 25 so we are going to get what 25 times what 4 which is what 100 s square which is equal to 16 times what 25 which is equal to what 400 plus 36 s square we subtract uh, 36 s square from both sides of the equation so we are going to get what 100 s square minus what 36 we are going to go to 64 s square is equal to 400 we divide through by what 64 so we are going to get s square is equal to what 400 divided by what 64 
So S square will be what? 25 divided by 4. We square both sides of the equation and X is what? 5 over 2. I hope you got it correct. Thank you so much for watching and you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educative videos.